Hey kids, back again. We are going to go and grab the animal now and do the same process by bringing the objects into our layers. I'm going to go over to my page. I'm going to roll down and I am going to go and grab the... I'm actually going to go and grab the parrot because it's quite bright. This time now, I'll show you what's going to happen if I click on it and I can go and download it in a different way. Okay. So there's my parrot. I can right click and I can save the image as this way. I can make sure that it opens and I can go and bring my parrot into my page, into my computer this way. I'm going to go into paint.net and then I can go and just make sure that this is here. So I've got my parrot long press this way and drag my parrot in here, add as a layer. Okay, so there's my parrot dragged into my layer. Okay. The other way is to go and go into your layers and then you can go and import from a file. Go and grab your parrot or your spider to peer, whichever animal it is that you like. That way. So I've got the marching ants around the outside. Remembering from last couple of lessons, we need to go and Control and D, get rid of the marching ants. And now I can go and use the magic wand as best I can in this one. And this one's a hard one because the colors are quite spread out. And what I can do is instead I can use my lasso. And I can lasso this very quickly just around the parrot. I just want to be on the inside slightly, just by a pixel, not by much. And I can lasso all the way around the parrot and around its feathers. Don't worry about losing too much on the outside. There we go. Now, what I need to do is I will need to cut this out and go and put this into a new layer. So what I would normally do here is I would probably go and invert this selection. And then I would probably go and cut out the inverse. So I would go and invert a selection there, like this. You can see that it jumps to the, the rest of the picture. And I can go and delete like so. Now I can select around it. I can use the transform and I can go and reshape this however I like. The other way I'm just going through and undoing at the moment is once I've selected my, in my object, my insect, my animal, I can go and edit. I can copy it. What I can do is I can save all this. I can go and make a new layer. I can go and paste by edit and paste like that. And it pastes the parrot on top. And you can see the parrot in the thumbnail there. If I turn this off, this still gives me the parrot, but it also gives me everything else around it as well. So if I've made a mistake, I cut too much off, I don't need to worry. Because I don't need to go through all my undos. So you've got an option now. You can choose which, which way you feel more comfortable with your composition. Okay, so go and have a go at that. And this will let you be set up for the other animals and insects that we're going to go and put in our composition for this little practice. Okay, so as always, good luck.